The term fish is applied to a variety of vertebrates of several evolutionary lines. It describes a life form rather than a taxonomic group. As members of the phylum Caudata, fish share certain features with other vertebrates. These features are gill slits at some point in the life cycle, a notochord or a skeletal supporting rod, a dorsal hollow nerve coat and tail. Fishes have been in existence for more than 450 million years, during which time they have evolved repeatedly to fit into almost every conceivable type of aquatic habitat. Fish are the most diverse group among vertebrates with over 33,000 different types of fish species. Fishes range in adult length from less than 10 mm to more than 20 meters and in weight from about 1.5 grams to many thousands of kilograms. Some live in shallow thermal springs at temperatures slightly above 42 degrees Celsius. Others in cold Arctic seas a few degrees below 0 degree Celsius or in cold deep waters more than 4000 meters beneath the ocean surface. There are three main classes, groups or types of fish, bony fish, jawless fish and cartilaginous fish. One reason fish are so diverse is that 70% of the planet is covered in water. Fish breathe through their gills. Most fish don't have eyelids. Fish are cold-blooded. Scales help fish to swim. Fish are speedy and even they talk to each other. Fish use a variety of low pitched sounds to convey messages to each other. However, fish don't have vocal cords. They use other parts of their bodies to make noises, such as vibrating muscles against their swim bladder. Fish have developed special senses because water transmits sounds disperses chemicals and conducts electricity better than air. Fish rely less on their vision and more on their hearing, taste and smell. Many can detect motion in the water using a special row of scales with sensors known as the lateral line. Others can find their prey and even navigate by detecting electrical charges. Eating fish is an important source of omega-3 fatty acids. These essential nutrients keep our heart and brain healthy. Activities included forming community organizations and links to local government, excavation of bills and canals to expand dry season, water holding, Establishment of fish centralized 
and close to fishing season. Release of indigenous fish species and tree planting can increase our fish diversity.